Hey guys, welcome to the engineering world. Here is the free mock test tricks for SSCG, Pfizer Steel and NLC. So please support me and subscribe the channel. Here is the explained the solution of theory of machine free mock test 25th April 2020. You can attempt this test at any time and link is given in the description box. So the first question is inversion of a mechanism is this is the most expected question for Vitex and NLC and also it's a easy one. Its answer is the inversion is obtained by fixing different links in kinematic chain. Then second question, scotch choke mechanism is used to generate. I will show simple geometry of scotch choke mechanism. Here due to rotation of this pin that is it like a circular pin. This connect, the connecting rod, this connecting rod do simple harmonic motion that is to the left and to the right simple harmonic motion that is it generate harmonic motion and hence answer is it's used to generate the sine function. Then the next question in a single slider chain when slider is fixed it forms a mechanism here is a diagram and here a slider 4 is fixed hence this plunger okay i will show the plunger this plunger will do a pan down motion and this mechanism is used in a hand pump so the correct answer is hand pump so guys we are also launching get is lecture series based on the classroom coaching notes so please subscribe to the channel and support us for this answer is hand pump then the next question ABCD is a mechanism with link lengths AB is equal to 200 BC is equal to 300 CD is equal to 400 and D is equal to 350 which one of the following link should be fixed for resulting mechanism to be double crank mechanism it is a straightforward question and when we fix the smallest link that if it's a class 1 mechanism then we obtain a double crank mechanism mechanism here AB is the smallest because AB is equal to 200 is given so when we fixed AB then we will get double crank mechanism that is answer is AB so the correct answer is the AB the next question the sense of quadratic component component to V omega is the same as that of relative velocity vector V rotated here the various directions of correlative component I will show you here and we have to rotate velocity vector V 90 degree in a direction of rotation of link containing the path I will explain one example here here look at the second one okay the velocity vector given is upward direction this link rotating in clockwise direction omega so we have to rotate up that velocity vector in a clockwise in 90 degrees so we get curvature component of acceleration that is towards the right our right okay then the answer is C okay then next question is what is the number of instantaneous center of, of, of rotation for a 16 mechanism here is the formula n number of instantaneous center n is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2 where small n is the number of links here given that small n is equal to 6 so by putting values we get answer as 15 then next question in a crank and slotted lever quick return ratio mechanism the distance between fixed center is 160 mm and driving crank is 80 mm long the ratio of time taken by cutting and return stroke is here there is a re return stroke this one let me show it as a R okay and this one is a cutting stroke as time is proportional to the angle turned by that slider okay so the quick return ratio that is the ratio of time taken by cutting to the return stroke is we can consider by this angle that is during it is traveled during the cutting stroke divided by this that is it during the return stroke so for finding the alpha just apply the simple mathematics we get alpha as a 30 degree so quick return ratio by the formula we get 
as a two. Remember, here is a one simple trick. If they are given distance between fixed center as A, consider A and driving crank as A by two. Then the remember quick return ratio is two. Okay, two. Then next question. In an involved gear, the pressure angle is. It's always constant. Then next question. A reverted gear train is one in which output shaft and input shaft. Here, I will show the mechanism of reverted gear train. This one. This one is a input shaft, and this one is a output shaft, and they are both they are coaxial, and this mechanism is used in watches. Okay, this is also important question. Then next, a gear having hundred teeth is fixed, and another gear having twenty five teeth revolves around it. Center line of both the gears being joined by an arm. How many revolutions will be made by gear of twenty five teeth for one revolution of the arm? Here I will show this. This, this will, this is, will be the arrangement of this type of question. Let so sun as a a and planet as a b and consider c c is the arm there is a one simple formula and how it is arrived we will see in the special get ies classes on same youtube channel uh, youtube channel so subscribe the channel so by putting values we get answer as a 5 then the next question is in a flywheel the shape stress is 25.2 mega newton per meter square and density is 7 gram per centimeter cube then what is the maximum peripheral velocity in a flywheel the shape stress formula shape stress formula is sigma is equal to rho into v square where rho is the density of that material and v is the maximum peripheral velocity so by putting the values given we get answer 60 meter per second then the next question if speed of engine varies between 390 and 410 rpm in a cycle of operation the coefficient of speed will be this is also formula based question formula is coefficient of speed is given by n2 minus n1 divided by mean speed that is n2 plus n1 divided by 2 so here n2 and n1 given 390 410 rpm so by putting values we get coefficient of speed as 0.05 okay then next question the primary function of flywheel is actually primary function of flywheel is to limit the fluctuation of speed during each cycle okay so correct answer is a then a spring controller governor is found unstable it can made stable by here governor can be made stable by decreasing the spring stiffness so the answer is b decreasing the spring stiffness we will see all these concepts in our pre gate ies 2021 lecture lecture series on same youtube channel we will clear all the concepts okay and there is also free mock test so please subscribe the channel please then the next question the sensitivity of isochronous governor is it's a simple forward question it's infinity then which one of the following governor is used to drive a gramophone it's a pickering governor it's a like cantilever beam type arrangement the next question a governor becomes isochronous when where ep is controlling force r is radius of rotation for governing valves and e and b are constants here is the graph of f and r r radii radii f is a controlling force here the isochronous governor when it's intersect as the origin that is f is equal to a into r so answer f is equal to ar okay the next question with the symbols having usual meaning the single degree of freedom system 3x double dot plus 9x dot plus 27x is equal to 20 sin 2t represent here given equation m x double dot plus x dot plus k x is equal to f sin of omega t here c is present so damper is present f is also given that is it's a forced 
सो इट इज अ फोर्स्ड वाइब्रेशन विथ डैम्पिंग करेक्ट आंसर इज फोर्स्ड वाइब्रेशन विथ डैम्पिंग देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जस्ट अ मिनिट A mass of one kg is attached to the end of spring with a stiffness 0.7 newton per meter. The critical damping coefficient of this system is. It's a simple formula-based equation. For critical damping coefficient, Cc is equal to 2 into root of Km, where K is a spring stiffness given 0.7 newton per mm. Mm given by putting we get 52.92. Newton second per meter. Next question: The equation of motion for a damped viscous vibration is is 3x double dot plus 9x plus 20 sin x is equal to zero. By comparing standard equation, we get m is equal to 3, c is equal to 9, k is equal to 27. We know that damping factor zeta is equal to given by c divided by 2 into root of km. All values are given. Just we have to put. The values in given formula, we get damping factor zeta is equal to 0.5. Then next question is: In a vibrating system, the spring has stiffness 32 newton per meter and mass 2 kg. The system is having a damper whose coefficient of viscous damping is 8 newton second per meter. The system is. Here we have to calculate first damping factor. Depend on damping factor, we can uh, choose one of the option. Okay. Given values here, damping factor we know formula C upon two root K M. Okay, by putting all the values in formula, we get zeta. That is damping factor as a point five. If damping factor is less than one, it's a under damped. Okay, it's if it is equal to one, it's a critical damped and greater than one, over damped. So here answer under damped system, damped. Then the size of cam is denoted by. It is a simple, sim just simple. It is a base circle or base curve. Okay, the point at which pressure angle is maximum is known as in a cam. It is a pitch point. These are just one mark theory based questions for a dynamic balancing. We have to force polygon and couple polygon must be closed. Then the next question, the direction of hammer blow is. Here, I will show the simple arrangement of piston cylinder arrangement. This is the piston, okay, and it is rotating. So, hammer blow means here the force is acting to the perpendicular to the line of stroke. So, in this way, we conclude our this lecture. Please support us and please subscribe our YouTube channel. Also, like us on Facebook page. Here we are launching daily. Three formulas for the 2021. So subscribe and stay with us. All the best.